Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and I've got another part of the What's New in DaVinci Resolve 16 video for you. Today, we're gonna talk about things that have been changed on the delivery side of things. So stay right there, I'll be right back. So hopefully you've been enjoying the other What's New in DaVinci Resolve 16 videos, and I still have a long way to go. There is a huge, huge list of features. Today I'm gonna to talk about the delivery, uh, not just the delivery page, but some delivery options, because there's more to it than things that are just on the delivery page. There's a new one called Quick Export. It allows you to do an export from almost any page, the edit page, the color page, and even the fusion page. So if you're ready to just do a quick out, um, quick export, uh, you know, get your file ready, maybe for testing to see how things are gonna look when it's rendered, the quick export is a nice, simple way of doing it without having to go to the, the deliver page. So let's take a look and see how quick export works. Okay, here I am in my edit page and I've just got this simple video here put together and I want to export this so I can inst instead of going all the way to the deliver page I can go to file quick export and this box is going to pop up with some settings that I have all ready to go so I have my h264 ProRes YouTube I can upload directly to YouTube check my privacy settings and go from there my Vimeo upload h265 uh, the different settings that I want to choose from. Now, if I want to customize this list, I can do that as well. I can go over the, to the delivery page and set up whatever custom output I want. Go up here to the items here, the little three button pull down menu here, and I can say save as a new preset. So I wanna say uh, normal H264. All right, so once I have that saved as a preset, I go to Quick Exports and select Normal H264. Now I go back over to my edit page, I go to File, Quick Export. I have my presets right here. I can have multiple presets. I select my Normal H264 and there's my settings. So Quick Export could be an interesting way of doing some, <laughs> exactly what it's called, quick exports. Another new feature is the ability to disable the video updates while rendering. And if you know, you're know you used to how DaVinci Resolve does its export saving, as it's exporting, the monitor is updating. Well, that does take an extra load on the system to update those frames every time. So disabling this, is going to allow some faster exports, which is can be ex definitely useful on some slower machines. I haven't tried doing any speed comparisons yet, but I'm gonna show you how to set that up. Once I go to the deliverer page, I go up here to the monitor, go up to the monitor options, say update during renders. I can have on minimal, which is currently the default, and turn that off. So hopefully that can help some people with some faster export speeds. Another, another new feature, it's not an option, it's just there, is if you try and export a video where the resolution is greater than the timeline, you'll get an error. So if you've been editing everything in 1080 and you go to export in 4K, it's gonna say that it doesn't match because sometimes when you switch from one resolution to another, you might have to do some reframing or you know, some cropping, some zooming, things like that. So you wanna make sure that whatever you've been working in is what your output's gonna be and you wanna check that. So having this as a feature now to say, hey, you know, you're trying to output larger than your timeline, is gonna save a few problems when you've done all the rendering, you've uploaded it, and now you're checking it, and you're like, oh man, I screwed this up, I have to go back and redo it. So I think that's a great new feature on the Deliver page. Another new feature is the bypass re-encode when possible. So if we're in the single clip render mode, single clip render mode here, and we go to our advanced settings under video, down here. 
bypass re-encode when possible. Now this is, um, this was a default setup, so that's turned on by default. And what that does is if you're going, say from 1080p H.264 to 1080p H.264 and you haven't done any changes, it's going to just try and take that footage and move it right over without having to re-encode it again. And that, again, could be a big time savings and possibly uh, preserve some uh, image quality depending on what codec you're using and how you're going back and forth. So that's it for the delivery page and the delivery options that I want to talk about today. Stay tuned for a handful of additional videos on DaVinci Resolve 16. There's definitely a lot more to come. There's more that's already in the current beta that I'm going to talk about in upcoming videos. And I'm sure there will continue to be new features added before we finally get into a beta. If we remember uh, version 15, I think we hit eight different betas before it went final and each one added more and more features. So I do expect to see even more features coming down the pipe from Blackmagic Design over the next couple months before DaVinci Resolve 16 goes final. So thanks for watching everybody. If you like these videos, hit subscribe and be sure and check the bell icon to get notified whenever I put out a new video and there's plenty of new videos coming up. So stay tuned for those. If you like the video, be sure and hit the like button. If you don't like it, feel free and hit dislike. Hit it twice if you so desire. It's not gonna bother me one bit. But please, if you're gonna dislike it, please tell me in the comments what you didn't like so I can try and improve the videos in future ones. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.